In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic filter using the month function here in Google Sheets. So whenever I change the month right here on this table, it will give me the corresponding data coming from this table right here. So let's say we want the data from the month of December. Here it is. All we have to do is to click on it on our drop down right here and everything will appear right here. So let's go ahead and recreate this. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a drop down for our months right here on this space right here. So what you're going to do since we're using these updated tables right here, what you can do is to click on this one and go to edit column type and select drop down. If you are not using these pre-built tables, what you can do is to right click on that cell, then select drop down right here. Now that we are on our data validation rules on the right, we're going to choose the criteria as drop down from a range. So if you select that, you're going to be selecting your range right here. So if we click on this one, let's select our range, which is our months right here, and then click on OK. And once you've selected that, just click on done on the right side. So if we go back to our month, let's see our drop down and here we have our 12 months. Now to create the corresponding number, that will be our reference for our filter formula later, we're going to use the X match function. So we're going to start with the equal sign, type in X match, or you can select it right there. For our formula, we have our search key, which will be our month here in the drop down select that one. Now you'll see that our reference is month and month. That's because that's how our new pre-built tables work. Cell references are now with the name of the month and the column. So month and month, but if you're not using your table, you can just reference it as E3, comma. Then your lookup range, which is our months right here, and then press enter. Right now, there's an error because we haven't selected a month yet. So if we click on this one, there we have the number one. So the corresponding numbers would be one to 12 right here, adjacent to our month. So January is one, February is two, and so on. Now let's go to our filter function that will give us the end results right here that if we select that month, that month sales will appear right here. So let's start our formula with the equal sign. Type in filter. Click on that. Now we're going to select our range. And our range would be from this sample data table right here. So we can just again refer to the name of the table. Sample data. Right there. You'll see it's highlighted already. Comma. And our condition will consist of our month function. So what it's going to do would be to match our dates within this range right here. So let's select that sample data date, closing parentheses, equal sign to this number right here, closing parentheses. So again, let me explain what's happening. Our range is our entire range right here which will be pulled out and put right here if it matches the month that we have selected over here. So if this month is equal to the month right here, it will filter that data and appear on this box right here. So if we press enter, there we have it. Those are the sales for the month of January. If we change this to February, it will give us the sales for February. Let's go to March. And there it is. So that's how to create a dynamic filter using your month function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.